Will early Bitcoiners just become the new Rockefellers? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've heard that one in, in various ways. Uh, it's the inequality question. It's the, are we just repeating a new cycle? Is this just going to replace fiat and become the new tool of oppression? And um, I think it's a, a valid concern. But it's really one that comes, I think, from a misunderstanding of how new Bitcoins are created compared to how money, how fiat money is printed. And then subsequently, not just not just the practical how it gets done, but subsequently what happens with those freshly minted uh, bits of currency. So um, it's really, really important to understand that you know, when you hear about the government, for example, uh, creating $6 trillion out of thin air for bailouts, uh, what happens next is the most important thing. And what happens is there's a small group of people that get to decide how that money gets divvied out. And so uh, that, that piece of it is where it's sort of the Rockefeller, Vanderbilt, that, that question comes into play is those, those families have been around for generations and they, they're rubbing elbows with the central bankers who have access to the money printer and so they get first dibs. It's really that simple. And with Bitcoin, what's fundamentally different is, sure, early adopters, there's going to be wealthy early adopters. That's the, that's the game here. Like the people who got in really, really early, and it's still really, really early, by the way. Um, so even right now, the people who are getting in right now are in the, in the future going to be wealthy. Like that's the bet. But the difference is they're not going to have access to the money printers, the, the Bitcoin printers, so to speak, in the, in the same way. And so they're, in order for their Bitcoin to actually have value, they're going to have to exchange it in the real world, in, in the market. And they can only hoard a certain amount of it. Otherwise, it just begins to lose its value. So, um, so there's a lot of angles to this. But the most important thing, I think, is that separation from arbitrary money printing and distribution. Totally, totally. The, the, the path that you can go to to start working on the inequality question in your own head is to understand that there's a difference in in the new world in the new world there's a difference between having a lot of money and having access to power because we're separating we're separating powerful humans from the ability to create new money mm -hmm. that's that is the revolution that is fundamentally what's changing that's why this is different that's why we're sitting here talking to you is because we're separating money printing from powerful people that are able to control the path of that money. Because in the, in the old world, those two are the same things. And so you have people that got, get unfairly wealthy because of their access to power. In the new world, we're separating money printing from the sources of power. Yeah. And I want to say two more quick things about that. If, if you're sort of exploring Bitcoin and you're asking that question, I think it's a great question. And I think it's important mm -hmm. to recognize that you're, you're still very early. And so another way to answer that question is there are going to, there is going to be a new class of wealthy people. That is true. And who knows how they'll spend their wealth or, or all that kind of stuff. But as Brian said, they're going to be separated from the power in a different way. Now, if you are here and you're asking that question, you have an opportunity to participate in this new world. And what that means is if you just accumulate a little bit, and you're making this bet that it's going to be this new class of billionaires or whatever, you get to be a part of that, which means that you get to be a part of um, whatever, whatever that new world looks like. You know, you can use your power in whatever benevolent way you want to lift up other people or to redistribute your own wealth in whatever way. Like there's all, this is already happening too. There's already wealthy Bitcoiners who are, trying their best to make sure that the uh, where this goes is it benefits the most people possible and so they're they're trying to invest in other in other companies or they're creating nonprofits and so if you're asking that question out of a place of concern just know that you can actually join in and, and participate in being a part of the solution yourself